What is, hey, it's other channels. Hey everyone, Matt here. Today we're gonna to be moving Speedy from this area because he doesn't get enough sun here in the mornings. And we're going to be moving him from here to this part of his enclosure because it gets more early morning east sun. We're going to be digging another hole right where that gopher hole is to the right and connecting the two sides. Where that gopher hole is, we're going to be uh, putting some boards down and then basically covering the boards with soil and grasses and stuff if we have them, but yeah. And then we're gonna try to build something to where he can come up onto his uh, his little house that's within his enclosure. I'll show you the guys, you guys the enclosures, but this is basically gonna be his house. It's gonna come under here, and there's gonna be a little deeper spot right here. And we're gonna have boards covering that, and I'll get that all on film, so let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, we got the two levels done, and we're testing to see if Speedy can crawl through, and eh, he's going. And he's gonna stop there. See, he's uh, crawling out of the hole because there's no cover on it right now. So, yeah, we're gonna add all that. Now he's just hanging out a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and put the tops on this part. And then we're gonna also cut the wood and we're gonna put it on top of there. And Speedy's house will be completely done uh, once we fill the top of it with soil and stuff like that. So, anyway, let's do that. Okay, now Rain and Ryan are gonna go ahead and put the uh, tops on it so um, we can get this ready for speedy so that's wrong Ryan you got to turn it over and there you go now rain put her piece in all right okay and now we're gonna fill in the holes on this side here and that's going to be the second level you want to make sure that you do the gradient uh, soil that way your tortoise doesn't flip over so we're going to go ahead and try to get that on film as well and start burying this thing okay now we're going to go ahead and start putting the boards on you need to um, just you know lay them on like that and make sure they're centered and have about two to three inches on either side so that way the dirt doesn't cave in um, your tortoise, don't worry if it starts raining and stuff, they're going to crawl out of the hole. So that's it. So we're going to bury it now. All right, so now we're going to bury the rest of the top of this, and we want to have some sort of gradient to where he can come up and go onto his house. This is at a tilt because we had to use these blocks to cover those holes so that no sunshine would get in there, and the gradient is going to bring rainwater this way. So it'll be a double, double thing that we're doing there. So we're going to go ahead and bury the rest and show you the end result. All right, so the tortoise enclosure is done. It's buried in. I just watered it, and i um, going to plant some wheat grass probably on the top and maybe some dandelion seeds all over it and let it grow in so if the tortoise needs to get out it will uh, you know if there's water that builds up into the bottom of that I'm sure it's not going to gush in there but uh, it can easily get out and I made some nice gradient underneath so it'll be able to get out still um, but yeah looks good so he's already in there chilling so I wonder if I can get him on camera is he down there Kids are probably looking at my butt crack. <laughs> so anyway, like always, God bless you guys. And uh, yeah, if you get a tortoise, you know, do a nice little enclosure for him. Like, I mean, this is a big enclosure for this tortoise. So, and uh, yeah. So anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless.